We're going to look at a very special woman in the Bible today. A woman that God just did not choose. But there was a reason why God chose Mary that in her womb would carry our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. Now she's an important woman in the Bible and the Baptists don't lift her up much as they should. And yet there is the Catholics and others that lift her up too much. Now we're going to look at a few Bible verses that's going to teach us the Bible student and the people of religion the truth and if you are at odds with what I say you need to review what we studied with an open King James Bible and you need to ask God for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. In the first place is in the Gospel of Luke, <clears throat> verse, uh, chapter 11, verse 27. Luke 11, 27, And it came to pass, as he spake these things, Jesus, a certain woman of the company lifted up her voice. So there's a woman out in the, in the multitudes. And she lifts up her voice and said unto him, Jesus, Blessed is the womb that bare thee, and the paps, or breast, which thou hast sucked. So what she's saying is the Blessed Virgin Mary. She's lifting up Mary. Here is a woman that is lifting up Mary long before the Catholic Church is even showing up. And this is probably where they get the Blessed Virgin Mary, Blessed of the Womb. Now, thank God there was there was no abortion back then. Because the great debate would be, you know, Mary's pregnant by the Holy Spirit. She hasn't had no man. You know, just let her go run down to, you know, the abortion clinic. Abortion's murder. But he said, Jesus said, verse 28, Yea, rather... Blessed are they that hear the word in God, hear the word of God, and keep it. So, Jesus ignores the adoration and worship of Mary, his mother, and puts a note in there that if you hear the word of God, and you keep it. Now, there are people who hear the word of God, and they don't keep it. There are people who don't even know. They're saved. They're in Baptist churches. They don't know what the Word of God says. Never mind. Keep it. So, already, the Mary is not to be worshipped or praised in the mouth of Jesus as you turn to Luke chapter 2. Luke chapter 2, verse 21. Now look at the words. When eight days were accomplished, the eighth day to Jesus Christ, for circumcising of the child, his name was called Jesus, which was so named of the angel before he was conceived in the womb. Okay. And when the days of her purification, according to the law of Moses, were accomplished, they brought him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As is written in the law of the Lord, every male that openeth the womb shall be called holy to the Lord. He's the firstborn. And to offer a sacrifice according to that which is said in the law of the Lord. A pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Alright, so the law of the Lord, the law of Moses. We just read, you know, those who hear the word of God and keep it. 
What is this law of Moses and what is this law of the Lord? Leviticus chapter 12. All the way back in the Old Testament. Leviticus chapter 12. Verse 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, If a woman conceived seed, and born a man-child, would have been married, given birth to Jesus, she shall be clean, un she shall be unclean seven days, according to the days of her of the separation, for her infirmity, she shall be unclean. Verse 6, And when the days of her purifying are fulfilled, Luke chapter 2, For a son or for a daughter, she shall bring a lamb of the first year for a burnt offering, and a young pigeon or turtle dove for a sin offering, unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation of the priest. Now she didn't bring the lamb. But she held the Lamb of God, which take away the sins of the world, in her arms. You know, they dressed Mary in purple and blue. According to the Bible, Mary and Joseph were not rich, and purple and blue are dyes for clothing that was rich. That's not Mary. She, she didn't give birth to Jesus in royalty. She gave birth to him out in a stable. Verse 7. Who shall offer it before the Lord and make an atonement for her, and she shall be cleansed of the issue of her blood. That is the law for her that has born a male or female. Now verse 8. And if she be not able to bring a lamb, Luke 2 didn't say anything about the lamb. Jesus is the lamb. Then she shall bring two turtle doves or two young pigeons, Luke chapter 2, one for a burnt offering and the other for a sin offering. Now if Mary was sinless, as the church says, how come she had to bring two turtle doves or two young pigeons? One for a burnt offering, one for a sin offering. How come she had to be separated? A time of separation. That is found in Leviticus 12, the law of Moses, the law of the Lord, and that Luke, the medical doctor, records in the Gospel of Luke chapter 2 that we read. And the priest shall make an atonement for her, and she shall be clean. She was unclean. She was never sinless. So there's another error. There's three errors. The praise and adoration of Mary. Mary was rich. And that Mary was sinless. Clearly, the word of God and the law of Moses speaks that she wasn't. Now, back to Luke chapter 1. Luke chapter 1. We read Mary in her own words. Mary, in her own words, verse 47. This is Mary's word. And my spirit has rejoiced in God, my Savior, capital S. Jesus is God. Taken out to Jehovah Witnesses. Because Mary said, that Savior is God. That Savior is Jesus 
That is Jesus Christ. Mary said, as far as her sinlessness, God is her Savior. That's the Jesus Christ. After the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, the gospel, the Bible proclaims that Mary put her faith in her Son, the Son of God, Jesus Christ, who is God. Matthew 13. Matthew 13. Now watch the, watch the words. Watch the words. Matthew 13, 55. A couple more verses, then we're done. Is not this the carpenter's son? Talking about Jesus. No, he wasn't. Joseph was his adopted father. The father of Jesus Christ is God, the Holy Spirit. Is not his mother called Mary? Yes. His brethren, James and Joseph and Simeon and Judas are and his sisters. Are they not all with us? Now they will say that Mary was a perpetual virgin. They will say that this naming of James, Joseph, and Simon, and Judas, and his sisters, well, that's what we call each other. And they'll call a nun sister. And in the, in the Baptist church, we call each other brothers and sisters in the Lord. Now, that's how, the, that's how a priest explained that to me. That's how you get over Mary having other children. Matthew 27. Look, watch the wording out of your King James 1611 Bible. You don't need no other English Bible. Matthew 27. Verse number 56. All right. Among which was Mary Magdalene, Mary, the mother of James and Joseph. There's Mary right there. James and Joseph, we read earlier in Matthew, were two of the brothers of Jesus. Stepbrothers. Whose parents were Joseph and Mary. Why didn't they name the other... They didn't name the others. Sometimes, not all the names are given. All right, so Mark chapter 6. Watch the wording. Watch the wording. Mark chapter 6. We can read English, unless you're listening to this in another country. Mark 6, verse 3. Is not this the carpenter? The son of Mary? Also, it does not say the son of the carpenter. The carpenter. So yes, Jesus was a carpenter. And the son of Mary, the brother of James and Joseph and Judah and Simeon. Are not his sisters here with us? You can't get more clearer than that. But Mark 15:40. Mark 15 verse 40. I went too far. Mark 15:20. That's not the right one. Verse 40. Mark 15, 40. There were also women looking on far off, among whom Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James the Less. We know who that is. 
and Joseph and Salmon. And in the Gospel of John, we read that Mary's there at the cross. So, if this Bible study has interfered in your beliefs and goes against your church doctrine and traditions, Throw your church doctrine and traditions in the garbage can and stick with the King James 1611 Bible. 